Bim, guess what? We're doing another speedy review and we're doing Asda plant-based dirty fries. They are so good apparently. Prepared with potato fries smothered in tomato and non-dairy cream sauce topped with a cheddar alternative and Riku uh, chili peppers. Blah, blah, blah. Um, cook in the oven for about 30 minutes, thereabouts. Uh, potato chips with tomato sauce and non-dairy creamy sauce topped with a non-dairy alternative in cheddar and raccoon chilli peppers. Um, there's no story, no nothing. It just says, try me. Well, I did. And, ha, <laughs> mm, yeah, mm, yeah, mm. this is what the cheese looked like on the top. So, I'm not that impressed, I'll be honest with you. However, the fries look all right. A little to you, like that. So the, the fries look okay. So we'll get a fry that's on its own. Bit of the cheese sauce. Jeepers. Definite chilli in this. I don't understand what people see in dirty fries. Cost already round about two quid. I'm trying to avoid the cheesy cheddar cheese part. Well, there is a bit on here. To me, it looks mouldy, the cheese bit. Fries bit's all right. Definitely getting a kick of peppers as well. Cheapers. Quite high in our, uh, in, in ours, <laughs> quite high in carbs. Uh, potatoes, water, tomato, pescatelli. Uh, tomatoes, onion, non-dairy alternative to cheddar, 3%. And then we've got water, coconut, modified potato starch, gluten-free, alt fiber, maize starch, salt, modified maize starch, yeast extract, flavorings, acidity regulator. Guagum lactic acid, lactic acid is a bad thing for me. Uh, sodium lactate thickener, um, non dairy vegan creamy spread, uh, thickener, um, sliced pickled peppers, um, blah de blah de blah. No palm oil, that's a bonus, I suppose. No palm oil is a bonus, isn't it, these days? Just fed up with palm oil everywhere. I'm not eating the bit that looks like mould, I'm sorry. For that reason alone. Oh. Ah. I like, hmm. So I'm in a weird place because I'm actually enjoying the fries, the chips. And the chilli, which you can see right around there.
Next one's got a dirty bottom. Been all that's really good. Just the fact it looks like it's got mouldy on the top, which I'm not eating. It's going to make me give it two stars out of five. Until next time, we're seeing you. You can also see what I've left.